What's up, everybody? It's your boy back to another Reggie video. And I'll be reacting to what is this? Two True OnlyFans Horror Stories Animated. This is from a channel called Dr. No Sleep. Uh, it came up recommended, which is not surprising because I'm subscribed to quite a few horror channels. So. But I enjoyed those, uh, those, uh, only fans horror stories. I'm not sure if any of those actually happened. I haven't heard of anything. I mean, people get, you know, doxxed or like in you know game streaming uh, swatted. So I've heard of horror stories like that. But uh, whatever, like uh, people have been shot like by the police because they were swatted. But uh, yeah, now, as far as Only Fans, never <laughs> like the other one was. Uh, what was that one? It was uh, someone was like taken like hostage or something and forced to do OnlyFans. They were taking all the money. Somebody was taking all the money. Uh, I don't like. I, was, I don't know if any of that has ever happened as far as like regards to OnlyFans, but I don't know. But anyway, but these are these videos are very creative. Am I tripping? Oh, I'm tripping. It hasn't been that long since I had these on. I forget. <laughs> I put on my earphones. Uh, but anyway, let's just get into this. Oh, wow. I didn't know this was 23 minutes long. Shit. <laughs> I just saw this like 23 minutes and 26 seconds. Oh, no. I watch long videos. Uh, here we. Talk to nicely. My name is David, and my girlfriend Melissa recently decided to start an OnlyFans. For those oh, of you who are the loop about what that is, basically, it's an online content subscription service where creators earn money from their subscribers directly via one-time tips or pay-per-view. All of this is really a fancy way of saying that, for the most part, it's a way for horny guys to get off to girls that charge them for the privilege of doing so. Now, before we go any further, let me make it clear that I'm not trying to shame anyone. I know that there are a lot of people who do like, this to make ends meet. Hey, hey, don't, he like, don't come out to me, their right. social media presence. Sure, no I'm, power I'm, to I'm, them. I'm not, I was I'm initially not, on board not when some. Melissa explained to me how it worked. She said, It's not like I have to go meet them or have to worry about knowing them where I live or something like that. The fans are just paying me to perform entertainment. Nothing more and nothing less. I actually felt a little silly that she even had to give me that sort of pep talk. I mean, clearly she loved me. She wasn't hiding this from me. And our relationship was getting stronger as a result of her gaining confidence in her body. Plus, the money wasn't bad. In the first week, she earned. And that's usually what it is. It's the money. And she also told me if I ever felt money, that you like you start looking at that money, like, nothing shit. was going under my nose. I could check her messages. I told myself I wasn't going to be that sort of partner. I trust her. We share everything with. But that was nice that she said hey, you can just check my messages. Was that she went to take a shower? She's not, she's like, she's not trying to hide shit. While I was installing a new toilet, she told me to read any comments while she was in there, and even teased that I could do a photo shoot for her. It was just the spice I was looking for on a dull day, and I obliged her request. Then I inevitably read some of the. I mean, yes, he already somebody like smoking hot body. You, you should gorgeous, be with me. A goddess on earth. Your and man that, doesn't deserve sir, it. Let me treat you like a queen. I didn't tell you what I read, and I really, really Let tried treat to you not like let it bother queen. me. But there was one comment that really pricked a nerve. The one that really stuck with me. I'm going to make I'm you going mine. To make you mine. Okay, that. And then I checked their yeah, that's a look and saw that he had messaged her frequently. He could just be talking out his ass, but still, yeah, that's like, when are you going to give me? I think a I'm gonna block show? this person. I wish it was me there doing this to you. Soon enough, nothing will come between us. And a dozen similar comments and DMs. And what? The obsession freaked me out a little. I brought it up to Melissa that night, and she shrugged it off. A lot of guys are like that. It's all just role play. You know, you're the only one for me, babe. She said reassuringly. Mm. Didn't let it go. 
Could you maybe block that account? I asked her. She had said in the past that if I ever wanted to... If he's account, reading the messages would. and this but particular guy card now over something is like this. Uh, but something doing about that particular I would just block disturbed him. me. I mean, this user is giving a lot of money for my content, David. Look at this. Last 24 hours alone, he gave me nearly $100 just for a boob pic. That's money in our pockets. Of course. Yeah, but couldn't you get that money from someone else that's not as creepy? I suggested. David, you're being a little dramatic. It's not like this guy is going to hunt me down. It's online. He has no idea where I live. I'm safe. She told me. Mm. It's just weird how every, like everyone thinks they safe to some happen. Don't you see that? I asked. You're reading too much into it. But I'll tell you what. You and I will do something together for the camera. Is, she's like, that I figured that she's like, see how much money he gives Melissa me? Melissa said as she started to strip for me. It was difficult to say no. I thought she was being on camera a did bother me a little. As we got started, here, like, the doubt began to fade as we got lost Whoa, what is moment. this? We were doing some pretty kinky things in front of a lot of people, but somehow it didn't seem to bother me anymore. That was amazing. You really were enjoying that. She you just made it out. And then went to upload her content. I bet a lot of you mean you didn't do 69 or something. She squealed excitedly. Out. I wasn't too sure how I felt about it, but decided to wait and see. To my surprise, she was right. Many of her subscribers immediately asked for more of the Oh, same. yeah, that's so hot. Oh, girl, oh, what oh. a man. I need someone to do that to me. Wow, I'm speechless. Both of you clearly love each other. But then, the one strange user put in his... See, it's the same guy. Just block spirit. him. What is this shit? You really think anyone besides me can have you? I can't believe you have the audacity to cheat on me like this, Melissa. You'll be sorry. Okay, this dude's her delusional. When she read that last comment, and she brushed back her hair nervously. Okay, so maybe you were right, and we should just uh, block this person. Yeah. She said as she went through the steps to take him off her subscriber list. There, done. Oh, uh, now he's gonna be real pissed. I nodded and kissed her, still feeling a little paranoid as we went to bed, an uneasy and unsettling feeling was looming. You know how you sometimes get a sixth sense that something bad is going to happen? The next day, my gut instinct said that we were in trouble. And as soon as Melissa checked her phone, I knew I was right. What the heck, David? What did you do? She asked as she was quickly scrolling. Oh, messages. boy, here we go. What are you talking about? I asked. I'm talking about getting me banned off of OnlyFans, you dumb sh**. She said as she shoved the phone into Whoa, my hands. Whoa, I'd be like, so first you off, check your phone. So tired for round three, what you really meant is that you wanted to go into my account and make me look like a complete idiot? She shrieked. I frowned as I read the message about a policy violation from the creators of the site. Dear user, it has come to our attention that your account has been flagged for outstanding hate speech comments, racial slurs, advertising improper sexual favors, and other offensive behavior. As a result, we have no choice but to remove you from Damn. our site for the health and safety of our fans. Flagged? You may repeal this ban in he six must have months' he, time. Did he like the message read. make a program hey, that like flagged him like a bunch of times? But she was so furious she wasn't thinking straight. I don't want to see your face right now. She shouted. She kicked me out of the apartment and said she needed time to think. Bitch. I tried to text her, explain to her that I didn't mess with her account. No response. She had blocked me. Wow. Okay, she is what was really happening. Overreacting. It obviously had like, something to do with her she's... obsessed fan. That was the clear and obvious answer. Wait. So I did on. what I think any good boyfriend. Wait. I, I don't normally pause, but it, okay, this is pissing me off. This chick, like, I get it. She's doing OnlyFans. As far as I, from what they've said, it didn't seem like the first motivation was. Well, I guess the main motivation was money. It was about her gaining more confidence in her body or whatever. But this happened and she immediately goes in left field. Like, how do you know he did this? Someone, Somebody flagged your account, apparently, and got your account blocked or banned, I should say. So she immediately goes to her boyfriend and said, you were too tired for like round three. Yeah, I'm sure he was tired. Like, damn. <laughs> but you were too tired to 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 make out or whatever the fuck they were doing. I guess they were doing more than making out. Uh, he was too tired and he did what exactly to get her banned? Like, did she think he posted videos? 
of like him just saying the N-word or something? Like what like, what did she think happened? Like, I don't I don't have an OnlyFans. Maybe someone who does and they watch this, they can inform me or they subscribe to that. They can inform me like the details of it. Cause I'm like, if she got banned for being flat, I figure it works like YouTube where or even Instagram where someone can keep flagging your account and you can be banned. I've also seen people say they've uh, had like someone who like really doesn't like them create a bunch of ghost accounts and then use those accounts to flag them to get more flags on and then the like YouTube or Instagram or whatever this uh, platform is they don't even look into it they just terminate your account or ban you or something like that. It's just, like no one actually it's like no one actually looked into this. It's just like, oh we got flags, someone complained about this, so we do or someone saying hey this they they flagged you for inappropriate content or I guess maybe sexually explicit content. So they age gated your video or something like that. Which is having to one of my videos I no one Nobody flagged it. Somebody did a manual review, and it got age gated. I was like, "What?" Because I I think it was some cursing in it, and I was watching something that was cursing, and it got age gated. I was like, "What the fuck?" It was around the time when they did that. YouTube got in trouble about I guess kids watching like stuff that isn't age appropriate for them. But maybe that's why they go in this direction and trying to be more I guess family friendly now. I don't want nobody cursing in their videos, but anyway, get back to this. ...would do, and I logged into OnlyFans myself to find this prick. Maybe it was a macho thing to do, but I wanted to make it clear that he wasn't going to split us up or ruin her future career. I remembered his username and profile picture easily, but to my surprise, his account was now locked. I would have to send a request mm. before speaking, provide payment... So he knew what he did. I was so he mad I didn't even account. worry about that and just paid the fees to send So a wait, this dude Melissa has will all never only be with you. And once OnlyFans knows you've been hacking other content creators' info, you will be banned permanently, I said. It was a dumb thing to do in retrospect. I guess love makes you do stupid things. It didn't take this creep long to respond. Everything you just said is wrong. Look at the situation you are in now, David. Melissa has abandoned you. She's desperate to regain her fan base, to be back connected to them. To me, there is nothing you can do to stop me from getting what rightfully belongs to me, he said. Okay. I was quick to respond. I'm <laughs> taking snapshots of all our conversations way he's talking. and going to the admins about this. You will so be sorry look how she's coming into our life, I told him. This time, instead of some she's abandoned message, he sent me a link along with a short she wants to Be, with be me sure to use Tor fans, browser when accessing but particularly me. It took me a minute to realize. Tor. He wanted me to connect to the dark web. Why he wanted to send me a link there didn't make sense. Not at first. I left the coffee shop and went to my friend's house, trying to contact Melissa again, but it was a futile attempt. My friend was able to hook me up with the proper equipment to access the dark web and offered moral support about Melissa. You guys will work through this. You always do, he said. Thanks, man. I really needed to hear that. I said as I opened the link the weirdo sent me. It looked like it was just some simple security footage showing the exterior of a parking lot. Then a second later, it switched to hallway cameras, then to different rooms. It looked like a hotel of some kind. Hey, I think I know that place. It's where all the hookers go to make their money, my friend said. How do you know that? After yeah. admitting that he knew that. <laughs> the camera switched again. <laughs> that's where all the hookers go. I know that. Melissa place. in an elevator. That's where that's all the hookers go to suck so she can get her account back. What? She's going to meet him, I realized. The feed was live. I desperately asked my friend where the hotel was. He hastily gave me the directions. I hopped in my car and floored it, trying again and again to text her. It was immediately clear that this sicko wasn't just interested in sleeping with her. That sixth sense was telling me that something horrible was about to happen if I didn't intervene. I couldn't drive fast enough. I rushed through all the red lights, drifted through turns, anything to get to that hotel as Damn. fast as possible. How many tickets I saw did her get? car parked and checked my laptop again to see From if the feed uh, was still playing. Uh, red light she was cameras. inside a hotel room, sitting and waiting for someone. I still have time, I thought as I ran to the elevator and pressed the button. It felt like it took forever to get there, and when I slammed my fist on the door, I was sure I was about to walk in on a blood-stained carpet. Relief and surprise took hold as Melissa answered. She looked at me puzzled. David. 
I knew it. I knew it was you. What? Babe, Bitch. no. What? I'm here to warn you. That perv is on his way here, I told her. I don't have time for these lies, David. We are done. Lies? What are you, you talking me? about? Done. I ran to follow her to the elevator, and she slapped me across the face. Do not try to contact me again. I'm reporting you to the police. Whoa. I stood there in confusion. What? Soon understanding I had fallen right into this predator's trap. But I couldn't just let her become a oh, victim. He I ran down the stairs, hoping I could convince her that I was telling the truth. That it, down in the he lobby, got her. I saw Melissa talking to one of the hotel security guards and then pointed at me. Wait, I can explain, I told them. They insisted that I turn in my cell phone and laptop to be scanned. I complied, trying to explain to them how this crazy happened. Wait, you brought your laptop? Me. Listen, until we get this sorted out, you don't have to believe me or trust me. I can stay with a friend, I told her. She nodded, reluctant to look me in the eye, still convinced I was the monster here. But I never even left the hotel. Wait, the what police you... told me I was going to have to come with them for questioning. There is quite a bit of questionable Wait. content here, sir. Oh, wait a minute, Dickens. He uh, he must have put stuff on. He said it's quite a there's a lot of questionable content on his phone or laptop. What are you about to say? So the guy must have put stuff on his laptop as well, or phone, on his devices. But wait, he said a monster. Wait, why is she there? I'm I'm a, well, I'm assuming that the guy is going to. Convince like she, some something he's gonna let her convince her. Hey, I can get your OnlyFans, you know, unbanned. And she goes there, then he knocks on the door, so she thinks he's the one that banned it. Like, how long have they been in a relationship together? Do you think he's capable of just switching like this and going through all this elaborate shit? If that was the case, he could have just said, I, I don't want you to do OnlyFans from the beginning. Like, why would? You start backpedaling and doing all this elaborate shit now. Like, out of fact. You'll have a lot to answer for, the officer told me. God damn it. I'm telling you this was a hacker. Can't you check the IP address of where that originated? I snarled. We can, sir. And it's right here in this hotel. No denying it. It's best just to come clean now, the officer insisted. Melissa, please. So, how about you, you go to believe fuck me, yourself? I told her desperately. You don't need to worry about her anymore. She's in good hands, the guard said, pulling her away. I felt the cold metal of handcuffs against my wow. skin as I was being taken away, and then saw the faintest of smiles cross the guard's face. It was him. It had to be. It made perfect sense. What? He knew the hotel, knew the layout. Probably a tech wizard, too. In a surge of rage, I fought off the cops trying to take me into custody and ran towards the guard. His smile turned to a frown quickly as I slammed into him and tackled him, using my handcuffed chokehold to demand he confess. Sir, don't make us use force, the officers yelled. I knew I didn't have long, so I applied intense pressure to his neck and snow. Surprise, they didn't. Well, I guess security guard. Oh, he could tell I was serious. He shouted and begged me to stop, them. yelling, Yes, yes, it was me. I hacked his laptop. After letting the little worm go, I told the officers to check his credentials and internet activity. After investigating his laptop, the officers confirmed he was the culprit, and they apologized for the confusion. Melissa finally came to her senses and apologized Man. for not believing me. Melissa, cow, a bitch. I anyone would go through so much just to be with me. She admitted. Well, you thought he did that home. shit. I'm really not surprised this happened, oh, to be she... honest. You are pretty damn yeah, Every time the head goes down like that. And the good news didn't end there. She's she also got her OnlyFans <laughs> account reactivated after sending the police report and proving the whole thing was the result of a cyber criminal. We even started making more content together on a regular basis. Still, my paranoia is strong, and for good reason. I keep thinking there are others out there just as obsessed as the girl. So she thought what that come after her too? he was capable of what if we are never safe? But not a strength. I'm not sure the price for fame. Even though she was getting those really messages it. like, we're, hey guys, this month I'm giving we're going to be together. And by you're be with inch, me. Dr. No Sleep poster to one lucky subscriber. Like, to enter to win, all you have to do is subscribe like to the channel. Like this video. And you're going to be with me and, and not him. And how dare you to win. cheat on At the end of this month. I will select one lucky Bitch, winner. Don't even know the you. Comments below, so be sure to enter for your chance to win. Now back to the story. COVID hit me. I don't know, she's kind of pissing me off. Before lockdown, I was on my way to getting a promotion at my small business. The first female to ever achieve something like that. And I had just signed a new lease for a slightly more expensive apartment. 
I had even started dating a nice guy for once. Things were looking up, and then shit hit the fan. And boy, did it happen quick. First, I discovered I lost my job because the business couldn't afford to keep all of us staffed. Damn. Then I couldn't pay my rent and had yeah. to move back in with my parents. Talk about humiliating. I thought for sure that my boyfriend would be there for me during all of it, but he just drowned himself in work and forgot about me. My parents were nice enough to let me have my old room back, but dad sure made it clear he didn't want me there permanently. You're a grown woman now, Laura. You have to start taking responsibility for yourself, he said. I didn't think any of it was fair. Them treating me like <laughs> a child, me being forced to backpedal all is, it, it, of the goals I like had she, in Lyft it's, it's because like of this stupid pandemic. Stuff is out of her it sent me into control. a spiral hey, of depression you can stay that felt while, impossible to escape. Out of here the second, only thing that kept me sane it. was my good friend named Audrey. When she heard what and happened, we want she thousand dollars for drinks immediately. <laughs> you can't Everybody. just sit here and sulk, she insisted. Once we were at a club and she got a few drinks into me, she asked me what I planned to do about work. I mean, it, especially at her situation. Wait and hope for if I was her dad, I probably there wouldn't are plenty of say jobs that girl like you could do. She's from going through a lot. Bedroom. It's not she's even like that's none of that. I laughed it's back, thinking she was just being goofy. So, to be like, yeah, what? hey, you mean like only this fans? isn't permanent. I'm not going to expose You're myself to complete strangers. Woman. She Hurry up about and it get the hell out. Girl, you definitely got the body for it. Why not make a little money off of what God gave you? I blushed, and then she pestered me more about it. The joke suddenly becoming a full-blown scheme. I bet it's super simple to set up, too. You could be making money for yourself in a few days with the proper equipment. And best part, no dress code required, Audrey cackled. I'm not sure if it was the alcohol or the way she was talking, but to be honest, what she said was starting to make sense. Why didn't I give it a try? It's not like I was becoming a prostitute or something. Somehow, by the end of that mm, night, I had convinced myself to set up the had to go to that. It was surprisingly easy. Well, I guess it's much easier that you didn't gotta would make the process difficult and it would give me cold feet go out and excuse to back down. But stranger. I got it done in less than 20 them. minutes. Once I was ready to film, I was nervously sort of strip all naked of my lingerie and, and then just said, get and decided to film naked. Go big or go home, right? After I was done, I uploaded the video Damn, and she hoped just went that I wasn't making the biggest mistake of my she life. She went straight to the... the what happened next the was like a roller coaster. Nudity. The next few weeks really were like I was on she, she like, uh, she is not. I got an amazing response from the community. Followers by the dozens, and all of them were eager to pay for more content. It was just like Audrey had said. They were bending head over heels. It was a confidence boost, too. I suddenly felt validated and sexy. It emboldened me to go further, doing more raunchy things on camera. It was all an adrenaline rush that I had never experienced before. It didn't last, though. I think no, of course it did. So it's after I started the account, I got my first trash talker, animated, and that wasn't so bad, uh, really. I've dealt with bullies before. Sure. I figured just block and move on. Video. It was one particular account, though, that took it to the next level. I'm not going to share their username here to keep others safe, but I think it's necessary that anyone who is using this service be aware creeps like this are probably more common than even I can imagine. They first sent me a $50 tip, followed by a request for a custom photo. That was pretty standard procedure, so of course I obliged them. Then things went dark very quickly. So you're in Ohio? They asked oh, fuck off. The chat. Now, according to OnlyFans rules and terms, I've been like, no, I'm in Alaska, bitch. But it troubled me that they knew. Before I even could respond, the mysterious user took it a step further. You needn't deny it. I recognize you from an old yearbook. I'm from the area as well. This should have sent. How all do you know she still lives in Ohio, though? But I was struck by amazement of meeting someone I know in real life. The odds seemed astronomically high. Still, nothing they said sounded dangerous so far. So I would have lied. I don't know how the anymore. other warning messages that they sent. Reflecting on it now, the signs were all there. So, do your parents know about this? Have you ever thought about taking it further on camera? Someday, 
we will be together. Okay, what the fuck? This, this is escalating quickly. prompted me to decide that I couldn't entertain the notion anymore and end it. Screw the money. I could find other ways to... Oh, damn, she just... Button. I'm just going to end the whole only... Sorry, this is getting too much. I'm going to be blocking you. Why did you even Again, say anything? Why did I even give them that courtesy? Yeah, like, Am what? Am I just too nice? Who knows? But they didn't like that response at all. You disconnect from me, and you will regret it forever, Laura. That message had an ominous undertone. And soon they sent another that made it clear this wasn't any idle threat. I can forward all your videos to your father right now as we speak. Or maybe better, to every Facebook friend you have, he responded. If I was a braver person, I could have called his bluff. But I never have been that type. He must know that. You're going to do exactly as I said. That'd have been like, no okay. Hurt. Give a fuck. Forward it to him. You can't be serious. I responded. Why was I even entertaining this? I should have called the police. Ask your parents if they want to sleep well tonight. You will realize that with one of them choking on their own tongue, how serious I can be. Now, shall we begin my private show? The stranger asked. I tried to see if I could pinpoint their IP address, tell the authorities while I also stripped for the camera. So beautiful. Oh, wow. Does she know how to do that? The taunter said as I sent the first pic. It was so easy to just do as I was told, but I also had to... Yeah, ain't no that. way i do this. The IP Fuck search went through the dark web, though. Untraceable. Oh, shit. So my internet sleuthing told me Damn, this wasn't a joker. Search I was in the IP. danger of them finding me with their advanced tech. Get out the knife in your drawer and cut at your wrist. Oh my god. The stalker said. What? I took it out without hesitation what? and stared at my pale skin. Ain't no. My body going pale because of the cut. You actually I saw blood cut yourself. Out. I got dizzy and almost passed out. Hold on. Go deep. Wait. <laughs> I know I don't usually pause these, my videos, but what in the fuck is going on? I, I get the embarrassment part. You don't want your parents to see that you've been posting new photos or whatever on OnlyFans or, or what have you. And you don't want your friends to see. But you, this person told you to pull out a knife and cut yourself. I can see to the point, getting to the point where you're like, okay, they, they want you to take your clothes off, stuff like that. But pull out a knife and cut yourself? No. Hell no. I would have been like, I don't give a damn what you do. This conversation is over. And I guess she don't even need to block him because she just said, I don't need the money. So she was going to just terminate. Either she was going to just terminate her OnlyFans or maybe this person. Well, he did say he gave her $50. Maybe she was, maybe she was referring to uh, just blocking them and they can't give her tips anymore. But <laughs> she actually cut her like wow, no way in hell. like that that going that far. I mean, I've been like I just take my chance. <laughs> seeing me, my close friends and relatives see me day. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Her or your mom will never get that surgery she needs. The stalker taunted. What? Why are you doing this? Just say go I deeper, bet. so cut deeper to her flesh. Because I can. It stayed like this for the next week. I didn't get Wait, any requests. Wait, so did she for cut that. herself deep? I was their slave. I felt trapped. I couldn't just log off and leave when I wanted. Wait a minute, this bitch just said a week. I revolved around pleasing them. I finally got to the point that I threatened to take my life. You can't control me anymore. I told the stranger behind the screen as I held a knife to my throat. To my shock and disgust, they replied, Do it, Laura. Finish it. It will be a good show. Oh, wow, Instead, this is I sadist. I the camera and cried myself to bed. I left the service after that, refusing to let them keep controlling my life. Wow. I kept waiting day the fact that you day went for week. the blackmail to kick in. Aye. But nothing ever happened. Then it hit me how gullible I had been. There wasn't going to be repercussions. Oh, there was fucking It with had you. all been a lure by a sicko on the dark web. A month passed before I really let my guard down and decided life was normal again. 
Then Audrey asked me to drink mm, again. Yeah, this is going. In. I told her everything like about the whole experience. I was happy I could joke about it now, but as I kept talking, I saw how pale her face got. And you just walked away? And no consequences? She asked. I called their bluff, girl. They can't hurt me, I said confidently. I hope you're right, she said with a shudder. I was sure I was. It was over. I could move on from the sure, huh? chapter. That night I dropped her off and drove home to find that my house door was open. Mom and Dad were quiet inside. Oh, damn. It made my heart drop. A burglar? Don't tell I me called out killed our parents. I frantically searched the house. I found them oh, bound damn. and gagged and unconscious in their beds, intertwined with each other. The fuck each other? Cut their faces off? On the wall was a message written I in can't blood. have you, no one. If I can't have you, no one will. Wow. Then the house went up in flames from an explosion. Whoa. When I woke up in the hospital, my parents were already dead. Dude, do, do set a the bomb? The paramedics told me it was an accidental gas leak that caused the explosion. But I knew the truth. My mysterious stalker had finally made his threats come true. It's been months since then. I haven't heard from them again. But I refuse to ever log into OnlyFans again. Uh, I would I think I want them to not, think I died yeah. in that fire too. It's safer that way. To be anonymous again. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and smash. Wow. That is great. That last one. Because his motherfucker killed her parents. And then set a but yeah, I guess he set a bomb. I guess he car calls a gas leak, but the door was open. But car calls a gas leak and probably uh, I've seen somewhere someone like uh, not set a match. It was they like what was it? He like broke a uh, like a bulb, but he made sure he only broke the glass. And then when they flipped the switch, the uh, the tungsten caused the you know electricity caused the uh, spark, and it, it, it caused an explosion. But that seemed. This whoever was doing that is sick. You want them to cut into themselves, and then she gets to the point where she's like, "I'm, I will kill myself to end this." And they said, "Go ahead, it'll be a good show." Almost made me think they had someone else watch it, but then they go through the effort of going to her house, beating up her parents. I'm, I'm thinking they could have been more than one person since it was they, it was uh. Her mom and her dad it'd been easier for more people to say what they can control the scene. But beat them up. I don't, they could have been dead then. Basically caused a gas explosion in their house. They just, they just exploded in the flames to try to kill all of them because of that. If anything, he could have just been like, okay, well, you ain't going to do what I want. I just release the the, uh, the videos online. It's like somebody blackmailing you. It's okay, you're going to do what I want. And they, I mean, if you do that, they could just, I mean, they could be like, oh, well, I, I got money out of this person. And they were like, uh, I had enough. I'm not giving you any more money or whatever. You can lie right, and just end it. But, you know, you could be, uh, I guess, petty and just say, well, fuck it, I'm going to send these. I told you I want to send these pictures out or whatever. Now deal with the, the consequences. They've just done that. It's like just this person was like, no. I'm going to kill your family and you because you wouldn't continue to be my puppet and strip for me and do whatever and then cut on yourself. Like that clear that person. Insane. That's an insane person. That's like some. That's that's the level that you see in in movies where you're like, this person went through this much effort. It's not even like, oh, 
someone luring someone to their house and then killing them. Like you going through uh, hacking someone, finding out where they at, going there and attacking the people who live there and setting up an explosion. Like <laughs> it just seemed like I don't know, maybe it just seemed like a lot of work to go through to if you just crazy. But um yeah, and that, that first one, that, that dude girlfriends pissed me off. I probably have been like, I'm done with you. Like you she was like she couldn't believe that a stranger would do that. But bitch, you believe that I would do that? Your boyfriend? They go through all this elaborate bullshit. So you so you don't have an OnlyFans anymore. I could have just told you that from the get go that I didn't like you having an OnlyFans. Like what the <laughs> like it would and, she, and the, I was like I'm trying to figure out like what did she think he did after she went to sleep that got her banned? She couldn't I guess she couldn't look at her account. So what did she think he like he made videos posted or he wrote people like messages like calling them motherfuckers or what or the N word or F word or whatever like R word, you know, whatever like, he could just think of to be uh, offensive, <laughs> like just so he and then she, because then she immediately went to him and was like, "What the fuck did you do?" And he's like, "Hey, what?" <laughs> she just immediately blamed him for it. That's what like, what proof did she have that that that, that would point to him that he did that? You know. Because he seemed to be fine with her having an OnlyFans. The only issue that he had, she was more so reassuring him. Like he, I don't think from what he was saying, it didn't seem like he had an issue from the get go. I mean, he was, I guess he was kind of like, uh, it, it was more like he was just like, okay, he was interested in learning more about it. And then she was more reassuring him, like, hey, I'm not, I don't have to meet these people. I'm just showing, you know, my body and stuff like that is not, and they're paying to see that, and that's it. So like, okay. And then she's like, and you can even look at my messages and stuff like that. And then he, oh, the, the first thing he's like, he sees this one guy being a, a creep, and he's like, hey, can you delete this? Can you block this person or something? And then she went into, because that money is, is <laughs> my money make you, make you think differently. And so she's like, this dude's a big tipper. So, you know, he's just talking crazy. A lot of people do like, well, I, I, if I was him, I would be like, uh, I've looked at pretty much all your comments. I haven't seen anyone who is anywhere near as creepy as this guy and saying the stuff that he says. Especially that like, company with that one person. It wasn't like he came to her with a list. Like, hey, can you block these people? Like, they're being creepy. He's like, he read through her comments and this one person stuck out. And some of the stuff he was saying, and he's like, hey, can you block this person? She's like, yeah, but he tips $100 just for a tit pick. Like, yeah, but he's been real quick. And then she finally blocked him because she was like, she saw another message. He's like, you cheating on me, bitch. <laughs> and she's like, okay, this is getting weird. I'm going to block you. And then she just immediately accuses this guy of fucking up her only fan. And that dude, that's some shit that you see where he, he like I don't know what he did to get her there but like what he said to, he was trying to I guess convince her that like, I can get your OnlyFans back and then he laid the, the breadcrumbs for David I guess that was the guy's name to go to the hotel and stop cause he's like oh, he gonna come try to stop me from uh thinking that he's going to stop me, but it's actually setting him up to, to show she, when he knocks on the door, she thinks that he's the one orchestrating this. Like, I can get your OnlyFans back, you know, because you can, and that would make her think even more so, oh, you were the one who fucked it up. You know? But that shit, oh, man, that's crazy. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed my reaction. One of you did, make sure you hit that. Thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe when you're here. Hit that bell. You'll be notified when I upload new videos. Comment down below. Share this video. 
Peace.